I'm Ted Bennett and welcome back to the aquifer. In this video, I'm going to continue working with the sanitary sewer pump station and force main model that we did before. And here I'm going to show you a common problem that your uh, software will not point out to you uh, regarding high points and uh, negative pressures. So check it out. Well, here we are. We're back in the uh, pressure pipe model that we built in the last couple of videos with the uh, the two pumps now showing uh, that we did in the very last video and I'll go ahead and run it to, to prove to you that it's all there uh, same sanitary sewer force main and pump stations so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna pretend like the utility has come back to us and they're gonna say hey uh, hey Ted I want to extend this uh, force main from this manhole here we can no longer connect here there's not enough capacity in the system we need to move it downstream uh, I don't know, like five manholes or something. So we'll go ahead and put in our, our new, our new uh, manhole that we're going to connect to here. Uh, and we'll say it's a little bit lower and say it's like 640. I guess that would make sense, right? It's downstream, so it should be lower. Um, no surface pressure on the manhole that we're discharging into. I'll we'll make a foot of water in there. And so, you know, now we have to, uh, to extend this, extend this system. So easy way to do this is just, uh, copy this um, pressure pipe for our force main. We'll go ahead and just throw it here for a minute uh, just to get it out of the way. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete and delete the old one. Uh, this is how I would go about converting this tank into a pressure uh, node because no longer do we have a manhole here, we have a pressure pipe. So we'll go ahead and drag this over, kind of make it look good graphically, try to make it look like what it looked like before. We've got all our info in there. It's already got our um, got our elevation in there, and so we just need another pipe uh, to carry us the rest of the way. And I'll I'll take a shortcut. I've shown you guys uh, how how to build uh, pipes before, so I'm just going to presume that you know, as it turns out, it's the same length as the other uh, the other section of force main. So we can just do this uh, to mimic that. And now we've got uh, two pipes in there, and basically now we. Uh, we now have a force main that is twice as long. Uh, a couple of things to, to watch out for here. I'm already wondering why I'm pumping more flow through a force main that is twice as long. That should immediately uh, start to ring bells with you. If it doesn't, then you gotta do you gotta do this in your uh, pressure systems because you always want to know uh, what your total pressure is at each node. And now you can see what the problem is. And what's what's tricky is this did not give me any warnings down here to tell me that this was negative pressure. Uh, the model doesn't know. It's dumb. And basically, it just let the hydraulic grade line go under uh, the actual uh, pipe node here. So this is something to watch out for and could could have uh, pretty, pretty scary effects on your model. So what I'm going to do here... Uh, just to simulate a little bit better result is I'm going to convert this node here into a tank by clicking on it and basically there we go I got I've got to enter some data here and then I'll compute again oops did not want that this should compute for us again now And it does, as you can see. Uh, now we're pretty much back to where we were, and this tank is actually operating a lot like an air release valve. It's basically, it's allowing uh, the water to break uh, pressure here and then drain by gravity. And we're kind of getting sort of a, an erroneous result here. We cannot pump more flow into this tank than what we're delivering from here, but it's because these tanks are, are sort of infinite water surfaces until you define them. Uh, and basically there's it's unable to deliver this much flow But we do know that what's going to happen here is it's going to pump to this high point and it's going to drain by gravity uh, Through this system. So I, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful This is something to watch for uh, when you're doing those pressure pipe model uh, Models especially like water systems or even force mains like this something like this where the high point uh, sort of hides in there and uh, You could be seeing some negative pressure if you're not properly accounting for uh, the high point. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, keep uh, keep staying uh, tuned in to the aquifer and I'll keep sharing things like this as I think of them or certainly if there's something that you would like to see, you know, just send me a message. Uh, 
you know, either a direct message or make a comment. And uh, if you like the video, like always, I appreciate any positive feedback that I can get. And uh, as always, have a great day.